Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. Let's talk about Paper X versus G2. Wow, I mean, what a game. Um, not the greatest if you're a Paper X enjoyer, but one thing we have to give credit to is G2 because they played a phenomenal game all throughout the series. I mean, well, I say all throughout. This was shocker. This was diabolical. Disgusting. But... These two games, specifically bind, G2 understood their opponent insanely well. And I mean, like, to every minute detail. Like, it's not every day you see a team 13-5 Paper X. It's unheard of. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've already had uh, a couple bashings from the comments saying about how, oh, oh, good prediction, bro. Well played. I'm sure Paper X are going to win this event. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, deserved because this paper x didn't look like they deserve to win the event to be honest um yeah quite embarrassing i mean going from what 13 to 11 one in a team to then getting 13 5 is kind of crazy and i think one of the biggest highlights of this series was the issue with paper x's compositions and i think g2 you, if you're Paper X, you can't underestimate G2 because whether they're the best or the second best or the very fucking worst American team, you cannot ignore Valen's insane brain and calling as well as Josh Artie's like coaching. And these guys knew how to expose this team. I mean, from the weakness of having zero Sentinel on Lotus, which isn't great, but also the I like G2 knew. Paper X's weaknesses for this map. They knew it. And I mean, to be honest, I think this was lost off the veto. Paper X had to 2 OG2. They had to. Because res respectfully, Paper X's bind is awful. I mean, like, this is from first, the 1st of April, right? They have a 57% win rate on it, losing it three times and winning it four. But if we look at the teams that they've beaten, I mean, what? Um, so they lost against G2. They beat. They narrowly beat Gen G. Oh wait, did they lose against Gen G? Yeah, they lost against Gen G as well. So like, well done. You've beaten Bleed, Talon, respectful. Uh, DRX, we beat as well, 13-6, correct? Yep, we 13-6 we DRX. And then T1, we beat as well. So I mean, it's just not really good enough, I would say. Um, and I think the comp has to change because as, as we're going to see from the VOD, this harbour, I think it's overcooked. I think it was a nice little cheese pick, but with the current state of binds, binds like meta, with uh, double initiator and then just default raise brim viper, um, harbour just doesn't really have a, a play in, in this map. And I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll talk about the game now. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the biggest weakness is this comp. All right, so here we are on round four of uh, G2 versus Paper X on Bind. And as we can see the round play out shortly, this is just how on top G2 is, right? As we can see, before the round has already started, G2 can very easily win this round just off of the ults alone. They have Brimstone ult and they have Gekka ult, right? So if you're, if you're Paper X, you have to be on top of this instantly. Otherwise, you're going to be playing retakes and they've got Brimstone ult to stall and they might even be able to pick up the Gecko ult for a re-hit. Now, this is this is what I mean about the harbour. The harbour, right? So, every time Forsaken does one of these walls where it's on defence, it's like a... It's a wall to either fake presence or to actually commit off it. So, as we can see, like... G2, right? And I, I want everyone to acknowledge this when we go through these game, this this map, right? They play so coordinated and fundamentally correct. Every time you see a G2 member playing the round, there's a purpose behind it every single time. And I think, to be honest, Paper X is probably G2's counter because G Paper X, if, if you're Paper X, you can't just get one and get out. That's not possible because G2 will always have a second man behind the person you've just killed. And it's it, like it's evident here. Like, we, we see Trent trying to get an early Gekka ult, and what does something do? And look how aware Icy is. He's so aware, because he knows, he knows that they like to push this, uh, and push to this brown box, and he knows that this is a possibility that I need to clear. And now, if we just look at Devai, the poor guy 
is solo and he's about to get absolutely rolled and it's like it, it, if we're paper x we can't afford to just like give away solo picks and on, on a weak side of the map as well which is crazy and it's like it's it's hard to understand what something's going for here because it's like we we know that they're going to play together it could be a it could be b the round has just started we have no we have no info whatsoever is it really worth pushing like i i would argue otherwise to be honest and then as we can see divide can't do anything and i mean can we just highlight right look how aware g2 are i have no idea why we're smoking the tp but valen can see in time apparently and i mean they instantly know and what does valen decide to do icy holds the tp and Valen ults the TP. So Mind Freak is literally stuck. He can't do anything. The round's over. Um, and as we can see, Forsaken's in a one versus four, unwinnable round. It's cooked. Like, he, he literally can't do anything. All right, so here we are on round six. Now, this round is insanely interesting to me, and I want everyone to just watch the firepower of G2, right? The aggression from G2 it's like the roles have reversed because G2 look like Paper X and Paper X just look lost. Um, I think this is just... It, it highlights the weakness of the comp so well because they literally have very, very little delay. Like, the harbour wall is cross map, so once that's gone, not only do you know where the harbour's playing, but you also know that they can't really smoke because they're playing two on one site. Like, look, right here. Like... Even if Mind Freak goes into showers, he's on, he, he's relying on Forsaken's harbour wall to cross map, and then that's it. Like they can run through it and they can disrespect it. But not only that, but they only have Gecko Molly, Brim Molly, and Raise Nade. Compared to the Viper, which like if we're looking at G2's comp, in my opinion, it is the best comp. Like the Viper wall offers so much more because it's not only is it like an infinite harbour wall that also vulnerables you, but it's a lot more scary to walk through, I would say. Um, like, it's very easy to disrespect the harbour wall, in my opinion. Um, and as we can see, like, G2 just, they full send it. No, literally full disrespect through the smokes, followed up with a flash. Icy's able to be inserted into showers. And we pop the gecko ball and watch, watch how this round plays out. But Paper X cannot do nothing. The util's so strong, they have no short control. They have no uh, showers control. We don't even know if there's a lurker on B. So Paper X just have no map control whatsoever and they look completely lost. Mind Freak's unable to get out of the ult, so he dies. And just like that, G2 have all of uh, all of A site. And it's like, if you're Paper X in this situation, what do, what do you do? Like, they can constantly follow through the, the, the Brimstone Smokes. We've got Util for post plant. We've got Ray's ult for when they flood out. Like, it, it, it's, it's impossible. And... We've got, we've got bloody pushing, oh wait, we've got Leaf. Wait, so Leaf's on the B lurk as well. And it's like, this round is unwinnable. And I think this highlights yet again, like just how on it G2 were. Like they fully knew how their opponent was gonna play and they fully knew the weaknesses of their composition on bind. And it's like, just like that, the round's over again. All right, so one last round that we're going to look at is round 10. And I think I just want to highlight G2's exec for A. It is absolutely incredible, okay? Leaf goes for the bubble molly lineup combo straight off the bat, whilst Sky dogs into showers to fake the shower presence. So he knows that showers is fully, can, fully clear. Everyone can just flood out of short. And this is another round where Paper X are useless on site. They can't do anything. G2 have full showers control. And even if Paper X did have a showers player to re-clear showers once the dogs died, they can't because they're mollied off. The Gecko Wolf follows into lamps. And just like the round before, the site is practically clear. There is nothing that Paper X can really do in this situation. Forsaken, at this point, 8-1 down, thinks he can maybe deny the Gecko Wolf or the Gecko Plant, sorry and just instantly gets denied and i think this for me was the real nail in the coffin because i think we're, we're looking very desperate right now paper x there's no sort of teamwork there's no sort of adaptation that i think can really shut g2 down i think bind's not a good map for them and i think this comp is a little bit over outdated or overused um but to be honest i think whilst you know you can criticize paper x You've got to give credit to G2. I mean, you can tell. You have you have to remember, if you're Paper X, G2 got destroyed on Bind, right? Against 100 Thieves, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check that, actually. Uh, let's just check real quick. Yeah, 
I mean, they got destroyed on Bind 39. So this is a map that they would have looked over and worked on constantly, right? To fix every little mistake. Right now, 100 Thieves looks like a better buying team than anyone, I would say. So I think Paper X Vita wise, it's not the best. And I think if you wanted to win this game, you had to close it out on Lotus. Um, and then, yeah, as we can see, the post plant is just too strong and they, they deny it. I mean, it's literally unwinnable. They, they think they have a chance, but the post plant positions from Valen and Trent are just too strong. Um, and yeah, that's round 10. And I just want to quickly highlight this last and final round before we call it a day. Um, and just sort of, like I said, add on to how aware G2 and Valen is as a caller, right? He realizes, right, they are probably going to try to do something quite proactive, quite fast, really try and throw off the momentum. And what do they do? Paper X call will rush down five, down B long, and flash out and look at how aware we are. We're playing anti flash and we're swinging straight off of it with all five of us here and that is the round pretty much over yeah i mean i also want to highlight icy's performance this game because this guy it, it must have been his best game yet i have seen and he's doing this against paper x right that is crazy um yeah i mean fair play to g2 fair play to um icy now onto the big question do I think that Paper X can make a lower run? Hmm. I think it's going to be interesting. I think, to be honest, it's possible. It's possible. But this is the hardest route I think they could have possibly gone down. Because not only is... You, you don't have any chances left now. But what I would say, right, is I think that this... This was the best kick up the arse that Paper X could have possibly got. I think... Oh, let me move my camp. Uh... Yeah, I think this, this game right here is the best kick up the arse that Paper X could have gotten in this tournament because they picked G2. So they look like a fool. They, they got obliterated on bind. I think right now, Alex is probably molding. I watched the post-match interview and that didn't look great. They all look pretty down and depressed. Do I have faith? Yes. You don't doubt Paper X. They can still do this. Arguably, it's the hardest route that you could possibly take. But I, I genuinely think that they can do it. I don't think they can win the final, though. I, I think looking at their map pool as a whole, after seeing the games that I did today, I don't think they can win the final. I don't think they can win it. Um, yeah. But who knows? You can't you can't forget, right? These guys are paper X, right? They are aimers. They didn't look like they were on their aim today. They looked a little bit off. Granted, G2 know how to know how know, knew how to dealt with Paper X's aiming like style um, of just getting in your face and Wing. But they're gonna win this game. Then they play against the loser of G2 Heretic. So we could see a Paper X rematch. They win that, they go on to play maybe Fnatic or Gen G, who knows? Yeah, I think I think Paper X end with lowers, like lower round three. I think I think this is when they'll get exposed. But I do think they could they could make this. I I'm not doubting. Okay, I'm not doubting. But I think after the games I've seen so far, there's definitely stronger teams. I think Gen G beat Paper X right now in current form. Other than Gen G's like not feeling very well. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna call it here, folks. Enjoy you the rest of your nights or days or wherever you are. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. If you think I'm brain dead for my analysis, then let me know. I always like the feedback. I like the comments. I like the discussions. Like my socials, follow them. Um, and if you want to see any other type of video, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.